not bad, if I do say so myself. This is Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and this is my one year anniversary of doing YouTube videos. It literally started early November of 2011, where I putzed around and started filming me working on the NES, the, the, the painted NES that I own. Then I did the Animal Crossing project. It was one of my first videos. It was actually my called Animal Crossing Failed Project. So now, it's a year later, and I'm actually going to not so much do a redo, so to speak, but now that I have more tech and whatnot and have a firmer grasp of actually video editing, what I want to do is go back to my first three videos and kind of as like a celebration, more so for me and you guys as well. Basically, this is going to be the first. This is the room tour video. And then the second video is actually going to be me redoing the Attack of the Movies 3D kind of joke slash angry review that I worked on. Um, and then finally, we're going to go into Halo 4 review because this time last year, I actually reviewed Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. So as you can tell, I am not in the old studio slash game room anymore. I am actually in what is my living room which is now my game room. Warning. This is going to be a long video. Before, when I first started doing videos, I actually had to break this up into three different parts, mainly because it was like a 45-minute video. If you've already seen it, fine. Awesome. If you want to see it again with all the new goodies that I've acquired, that's great, too. This is probably, as I said before, it's either going to be one long video, more than likely, I'm breaking this shit up into three different videos because I'm going to be flat honest with you. The last time I did this, it was 50 minutes long. Like it? You can thank one Jenna Totten for that one. I actually asked one of my friends to, I commissioned her to do a title card for me. And it, that's what's going to happen in every single one of my videos unless it's like something weird and special and non-gaming related. All right. You're also going to notice something about the way I have everything set up for the most part. I do use cardboard boxes <laughs> for storage. It's a very temporary thing. I know getting actual... I can make it. I just have to go to a friend's house maybe or buy it. Either way, it takes a lot of time or a lot of money. So, as a temporary fix, I'm using some cardboard things. But now, we're going to go into the first cardboard part. This is my Nintendo 64 collection. I hate the way the Nintendo 64 games are because, well, let's be real here. They kind of suck with no labels. Uh, one of the last cartridge-based systems made, and you couldn't put the label on top. It's just weird. But this collection is grown if... I didn't even, I don't even know if I had one. Um, a, uh, um, a collection, so to speak, of... Uh, Nintendo 64 stuff. So I've got All-Star Baseball because it was a red case. Extreme G, which is kind of like a Wipeout clone. The new Tetris, which apparently sucks and has actually some hidden things in there. Hexen, which apparently sucks even harder than the Tetris. Episode 1 Racer. Shadows of the Empire. And Rogue Squadron. An Oddball Blast Corps. Ogre Battle 64. This is actually one of my pride and joys of my 64 collection. I've had this since I worked at Blockbuster almost 10 years ago. Quest 64. Perfect Dark, one of the better shooters made, period. And then WWF No Mercy. Yes, it's WWF, not WWE. Turok. Turok 2. World is not enough. I chose this over GoldenEye because it was more pricey from the friend who I bought all these off of, plus had a blue case. And finally, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Pokemon puzzle -y, uh with instructions. You know, it's complete. And then uh, WrestleMania 2000, which is actually complete. And it was kind of funny, I bought this game years ago as well at Blockbuster, and then that's how I discovered I had new Tetris, because <laughs> apparently whoever, so, whoever worked at that Blockbuster years ago put... Um, not only WrestleMania 2000, but new Tetris in there as well. So it was like really weird. And then everybody knows what this is. This is the uh, NES Advantage that I worked on that still works. 
B, A does give me a little bit of trouble, but I'm going to wind up trying to fix it again. We don't need to go through this again, but this is all my Skylanders. All the figures that I have, if I ever decide to play the game again. And this is it's just a box of min um, miscellaneous cords for systems and whatnot. The other thing you're going to see, you're going to see socks around. Uh, before anybody gets crazy ideas, I use old socks as dust, as to dust. Because you'll notice there's an aesthetic that goes on. It's all black, and black attracts dust like and dirt like nothing. Now add five or six cats, depending on the day of the week that I live with. But now, this is probably my most... Ex um, this, is a, uh, this is a television game, uh, National Soccer. This was actually a donation from Danny again. Uh, he's donated a lot of things to me over the years. This is actually where I keep now, for the, for the time being, um, my computer games that I don't play ever. I don't play computer games at all. Diablo 3 was kind of like my last go, so to speak. But that's Diablo, Command and Conquer, Fallout Tactics, the three Fallout games, Boulder's Gate, uh, I have Risk 2, Fate, um, City of Heroes I have, um, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Neverwinter Nights Diamond. Um, so yeah, that's the majority of the computer games that I own. The City of Villains Collector's DVD Edition box um, isn't City of Villains, but it's even more. A couple Xbox Live demos, but it's all the manuals and some more games, mainly EverQuest stuff. Uh, this is... These are the PlayStation 2 games that I bought at, on that $15 challenge where I pretty much retired PlayStation 2 from the $15 challenge and I still haven't gotten cases or cases yet made for these guys um, it's a little odd I know go figure but I'm gonna get around to them but this is my most extensive this, this is, the, this is the, the system that I own the most games for uh, it's PlayStation 2 I'm an avid collect I, I like collecting for PlayStation 2 um, because it's one of those systems that um, you can still get games really cheap for them. I mean, come on, I bought like 40-something games for $15. And that was at GameStop. That was like a retail chain. So that just goes to show you how cheap PlayStation 2 games have gotten. Now, some of these games aren't necessarily cheap either. But, you know, I got 24, Ace Combat, Activision Anthology, um, Aeon Flux, Arc Lad. Arena Football, um, I'm just going to go through some of the more known ones. You know, I got Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance, uh, Breath of Fire, Dragon Quarter, Castlevania, Curse of Darkness, Champions Return to Arms, one of my favorite PlayStation 2 games ever made, Contra Shattered Soldier, uh, the two Dark Cloud games, uh, De Deus Ex, the uh, three Devil May Cry games. I've got Disgaea, I'm looking for Disgaea 2. Um, Dragon Quest 8, I'm actually looking for the one with the uh, Final Fantasy demo on there. I don't have that. Uh, Dull Hearts. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Um, if you're into Champions of Norath style game, um, it's not that bad. Um, don't let the fact that it's totally radically different than any other Fallout game fool you. But I do have a copy of Final Fantasy X2 and the insulting part comes when I say I actually like this game. Final Fantasy XII the collector's edition. I actually like this one, uh, this game in general. I never finished it though, which is kind of funny. Uh, I got the two getaway games. I've got Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas, <laughs> Gran Turismo's, uh, some Hot Shots golf games. I got the two Kingdom Hearts games, which once again, I really adore. I'm not gonna lie, I am a fanboy. But I only like them on the console. I don't like the handheld Kingdom Hearts games. I, I don't know why. Uh, Kelowna 2, one of my favorite purchases that I ever got from GameStop. Uh, because you never see this game. At least in Jer New Jersey. You never see this game out in the wild. And when I found it, I just grabbed it really, really fast. <laughs> uh, you know, I get the Lord of the Rings games. Um, this Madden 05 is actually the collector's edition. With uh, some of the uh, old 16-bit ones on there. The Max Paynes, the Maximos, uh, Metal Slug Anthology, which is actually one of my second favorite 
uh, purchases from GameStop ever. Just because Metal Slug, come on, it's it's a fucking Neo Geo. Not as good as, like, saying if I had an AES or an MVS or a consoleized one, but still. Neo Contra and uh, Shattered Soldier are old school Contra games to the max. Um, they're really hard, by the way. Uh, Nightmare Draga. Uh, this was the game that I got at my old previous job and was so happy because I finally found a complete in box. Uh, some of the only Mishu games. This is from Gamer Emporium's contest when I won. So, you know, showing you that the love. Uh, some pinball games. Raw Danger, which I am going to get around to play. Just because, conceptually, it seems like a type of game that's easily, uh, like, long playable with a six-pack of beer and a couple of friends. Uh, Secure Wars, one of those games, once again, at GameStop, that um, it just goes to show you that sometimes they don't know what they have. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, I uh, bought that off a friend. Rogue Galaxy, one of the last great PlayStation RPGs. Shining Tears, another game that I've never played that I really seriously need to get around to playing. And now the last bit, uh, the three silent scope games. I've got Star Ocean Till the End of Time. Title Legends, which I play a lot. Tekken Tag, I mean, come on, it's Tekken Tag. Tekken Tag, yeah. Buddy. Uh, Time Splitters, Future Perfect. This was the uh, mistake game where it was listed as Time Splitters 1, so I wound up getting it for $2. Unlimited Saga, which I'm going to get, I, I tried playing years ago and just couldn't get behind it. So I'm going to give it another whirl, so to speak. Win back. Um, seriously fun. Seriously criminally underappreciated, too, I might add. One of those RPGs that during the uh, winter of RPGs, I'm going to be playing. Uh, yeah, it's going to kick my ass, too, because I've already tried to play it and, it, and it hurt you. And once again, um, part of the uh, RPGs that are going to... Winter of RPGs, the three Xenosaga Xeno games. Uh, one, two, and three. I don't have the case or instructions for two yet. Working on it. And then finally, Zone of Enders. And... That's where I put all the boxes, the LP, the, the uh, big boxes from GameStop. Also, Lollipop Chainsaw box is right below, above the Diablo. Jersey Pride Parade. Um, also, the work, my, my workflow schedule, so to speak. The computer area remained unchanged. So, yeah, now we're going to go into the other part. We have um, the Guitar Hero poster, um, the Behind the Myths tour po uh, poster thing that I got when I went to see Mythbusters Live, Skylanders poster. We have the other, the Mario from Gamer Emporium. Kratos wearing my custom Friday the 13th Jason mask. I actually make those during, the ho during Halloween, but this year kind of got a little screwy. This is my Game Boy Color that I found at a yard sale for 10 bucks. It has a different color back, but the bigger thing is it has the back. Uh, this is a random receipt, another sock for dusting. Uh, Command & Conquer Warfare, the first PC game I bought at a Goodwill. Um, the donated game gear from Danny with Mickey's Castle of Illusion in there. Danny's one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Uh, he's, just, he's just a magnet for finding all these things. Uh, there, there, one of the, this part of the battery did, uh, this part did corrode, like the batteries were in there so long that they corroded, but he did fix it, and he did clean it up. The problem is it may be a capacitor issue now, that the capacitors in the system may be gone, so the screen doesn't light up as well. And my Nintendo 15 game case holder, PSP games, I don't own a PSP yet, but they were donated to me. So we got SOCOM, Fireteam, Bravo. And Madden 06. This is spare cases for when I buy them without a case or instructions. Random controllers. Um, basically Atari controllers. So yeah. In the metal case, I have my poker chips. My custom name, Dahmer. And 
they're very nice sexy poker chips they're they're not they're not plastic i have my model one sega genesis and then i have the spare nes this is my wife's shrine to batman uh even the cereals in there um, the Batman cereals from the 30s, but Pez dispensers I got her recently. But yeah, she's a huge Batman fan. This is the 2600 Junior on top of a Wicco Command and Control controller. And this is where I keep all the controllers at. I keep them bagged up um, because I saw, except for the PlayStation 2 and the uh, Atari controller, but you know, I saw this from game, um, Metal Jesus Rocks and I thought that was a brilliant idea. And then we have the Borderlands 2 Ultimate Loot Chest Edition. Um, probably getting replaced. Uh, this uh, Jason Voorhees figure. It's going to go there for now. Because it doesn't make sense. It's not Feng Shui. And the spider is just going to go on there for now. Because it looks better with the Batman Collector's Edition. Uh, picture of me playing drums. Uh, I do play drums. My drum kit is still for sale. And... We're gonna, I'm going to do the wall, and then we'll go hit the games. I moved the Borderlands 2 ones over to here. That is the Grand Theft Auto 5 map. My controller for the NES, the biggest, the biggest uh, Nintendo controller. Twisted Metal, Mass Effect 3, uh, a couple toys, a couple Skylander, um, legendary trigger happies. Um, I bought them thinking I was going to play with one and then just keep the other one because I like Trigger Derp. Uh, trigger happy, I name him Trigger Derp because he just looks so damn derpy. Uh, well, I'm not even playing the game after that, but hey, you know, I got them both for 10 bucks, so no big deal. And then my Final Fantasy 13, I mean, yeah, my Final Fantasy 13 uh, faceplate for 360. I've never even opened it. Uh, yeah. And on top, we've got Dance Dance Revolution Supernova that I bought at GameStop for $2. A couple of the batters up, the complete Super Scope 6.